Well, hey guys, I thought I would share the story behind this photo, which is absolutely one of my favorite photos of all time. This one is called Big Blue Wilderness and is probably one of my favorite panoramics as well. Uh, the story of this photo dates back to 2017, and I had been going to this particular location, which is near Silver Jack Reservoir uh, by Ridgeway, Colorado, uh, for several years in a row to photograph fall colors. And I was just getting kind of tired with the same old compositions that I was finding myself photographing at this location, and I wanted to try something completely new. So on a total whim, I decided to look on the map and find a trail, and I just started hiking up this trail. I didn't know where it went. I didn't know how far it went. I didn't know if it had any good views at the top or anything like that. But what I found is I got to the top of this mesa and the views were absolutely incredible. Of course, I also was super lucky to have a thunderstorm roll in right as I arrived in the location, uh, which I was kind of scared, but I decided to stay up there and stick it out. And I'm so glad I did. Um, I was also really lucky to have snow on the mountain peaks uh, in the distance, which really helped, I think, accentuate this particular scene. Um, what I really love about this scene is that it has two glaciated valleys that kind of lead you up in through the scene. One on the, the one on the left terminates uh, at the 14 are called Uncompagre Peak, which I believe is the sixth highest mountain in Colorado. And the, and the valley on the right terminates uh, at Precipice Peak and uh, Coxcomb Peak on the right, which are two very high 13,000 foot peaks uh, that are just absolutely spectacular. And then, of course, we have the fall colors with hit with dappled light that was coming through the clouds. And it just made for one of the most magical scenes that I've ever photographed. Uh, I actually photographed this scene with a telephoto lens and stitched it as part of a multi-photo panorama. And um, kind of a funny story, after I had photographed this scene and the thunderstorm was coming towards me, I decided I better hightail it out of there. So... I packed all my gear up and I started hiking back down the trail, which was really steep. I got about halfway back down to the valley below and I saw that there was a break in the clouds and that there was going to be an incredible sunset. So I literally ran all the way back up to the spot I was at, which was probably about a two mile hike back to where I was at. I think I did it in like, I don't know, 30 minutes. I was sweating and dying on the way there, but once again was greeted by some of the most magical light that I've ever seen. Those entire cliffs on the left hand side were just lit up red and it was just spectacular. But I like this particular version of that scene a little bit more just because of the, I don't know, the color palette and the, the, the drama in the clouds. Really love that. So I think this is a scene that not a lot of people before me had photographed, um, but I've seen uh, quite a few versions of it since I photographed it. So I guess it was a pretty good composition. I hope you like it.